Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome if this is your very first time watching. I'm Jude, I do Eurovision reactions and today I'm very excited because we are delving into semi-final two as I kind of react to the running order but also kind of give my predictions on who I think is going to qualify. By the end of this video there will be 10 acts that I have guessed are going to qualify which is a terrifying prospect because I could be so completely wrong. However, I think that I'm not going to be less, well, especially in the last video of Semi Final 1, I don't think I'm going to be more than two wrong. I think 8 out of 10 is pretty respectable from this stage before seeing any stagings. Um, so we're aiming for the same in Semi Final 2. Um, and as always, hit the subscribe button. Please leave below your predicted qualifiers in the comments. Um, and also, the qualifiers that you would like to go through, not predicted, the ones you would like. And are there any disparities and differences between those? Let me know, I wanna know. But we move to semi-final two. So semi-final one, previous video, go back, watch that after this one if you want to. Um, but we're gonna start, go through them in order. I'm gonna either say yes, no, or maybe. And then we'll narrow it down to 10, somehow, by the end. So a quick run through of semi-final two. It may appear here, it may not, depends how lazy I am when I'm editing this video. Um, but we have Malta, Albania, Greece, Switzerland, Czechia, Austria, Denmark, Armenia. Then we have Latvia, San Marino, Georgia, Belgium, Estonia, Israel, Norway, and the Netherlands. So that is semi-final two, which honestly, after the songs have come out, this is a strong semi. Stronger than I was expecting, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. And so, who's gonna qualify? Let's find out together. Well, let's not find out together. We're gonna to find out on the 9th of May, whenever semi-final two is, because I have an exam on the 10th of May. Yeah, we're, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It is a final, it doesn't matter. It does matter at all, actually. But anyway, <laughs> semi-final two, Malta. Sarah Bonici, loop. Loop. It's a banger. And that's where we're starting the show. And it's intentional. And, you know, the people in first in the semi-finals do often qualify. Often being the keyword in that sentence. This is a stacked semi. Really stacked. And I think immediately Malta has to get a question mark. Because if it's outstanding, it could qualify. But it's mainly dance. There's not very much singing to be done. Um, obviously, it's television only. So it's, you know, going to grab some votes. But Malta, as a micro... Um, Nation doesn't have the same television power that others do and I think going first may harm them slightly. So it's a question mark but maybe looking closer to next. Albania, again, Bessa Kokovima, I love her. I love Titan, especially the last 30 seconds. Hi! Like, the what on earth was that sound I made? We'll ignore that. <laughs> but I love that last 30 seconds with that drum beat. That, like when it comes in, I'm like, yes, let's go. But it's such a slow build. Um, the rap, though, incredible. Like, bet you thought that I would crumble, but I won't. She ate with that. Um, is it enough for them to qualify, especially in position two? I don't think so. Albania is very regretfully out. Now, it could be staged incredibly, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Because then we have Greece. And when I say we're going to be eating tzatziki, we're going to be, we're going to be fed. There's going to be no one hungry after this performance because Marina Sadi is going to outsell with Zari. What a one-shot camera performance, which apparently is going to be insane. I can imagine that being insane. Um, it's You can tell it's going to be meme-filled. It's going to be fun. Um, vocals are incredible anyway. This is going through. Especially, you know, with Greek diaspora going through. I, yes, tell it only. It's chaotic, it's fun going through. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, what else do you have to say? Greece qualifier. Switzerland immediately gets a tick. There is not a single doubt about this. Switzerland potentially has the winning song of Eurovision 2024. You know, top of the odds. There's not a doubt that this is not gonna qualify. Nemo's vocals insane like they can sing um the only thing i'm worried about is that it may get lost like not even lost in translation because it is in english it may get lost to the general viewer but i don't think that's going to matter because 
their vocals outsell. The song switching up genres every two seconds outsells love the rap part. You know, everything going together. Surely this is going through without a doubt. Um, it should be top of the odds to go through. It, no, it's second in the odds to go through. Or no, it's joint. It joined first. Joined first in the odds to go through in semi final two. I don't think that's a question. Um, but Switzerland's qualification um is going through because Nemo is an icon and we love them. Um, Czechia. I'm very torn. Um, the revamp was good, but I never really liked the song as much as others anyway. As I said in my previous video, out of all the songs this year, they're all in like, instead of being a wide range of me hating some and loving some, it's a bit of a narrower range, you know, um, which means I don't actually dislike any songs. And I don't, well, I love Veronica on some other songs, but like there's less love of love. It's more in the middle. And that's not a reference to the song. <laughs> it's at that end. Or that end, depending on whatever way this camera gets flipped. The lower one. <laughs> um, Czechia is also at that lower end, unfortunately for me. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if coming after Greece and Switzerland, who I'm pretty sure are absolute qualifiers, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to get through. And it really is sad to say. Um, I'm worried about Czechia. And I'm, I'm, do I question mark or do I X? I think I'll question mark for now, but I think it's going to tend towards an X, honestly. Um, because I'm going to Austria. Now, I like, don't get me wrong, We Will Rave is one of my most favourite songs this year. It's in my running playlist. I listen to the song all the time. However, if there's going to be a shock non-qualifier, this is going to be the shock non-qualifier. You heard it here first. Maybe you didn't. I don't know if anyone else has been saying that. I can see this not qualifying because it needs to be vocally strong and, you know, rhythmically dancingly strong, staged well. And it's not that I doubt that Colleen's going to deliver. It's just that she's going to deliver everything in one go. And it makes me ever so slightly worried, specifically vocally, from some of the pre-party stuff. Now, Colleen has the charisma, the stage presence, the dancing ability, and also the singing ability, you know. But if there's going to be a shock on qualifiers, this one, and I'm honestly going to give Austria a question mark, probably going to become a tick. But for now, it's a question mark. We're going to Denmark, Saba Sand. I love this song. Personally, it's one of my qualifiers. But is it going to get lost in this semi, specifically sandwiched between Austria and Armenia? I think it might. Um, it's a great par ballad. But is it in a televote only semi, is it going to get lost? I think so. I don't think Denmark's qualifying, which is really sad because I would love Denmark to qualify. Um, and you will hear me, and you'll probably see me in my like reaction to the qualifiers, jumping for joy. Um, Armenia, then we have Ladaniva with Jako, or Jako. Um, I love Jako. Yeah, I, the song is a banger. Um, Armenia have proven they can qualify from position two. So I have a feeling Armenia is going to qualify. Massive dios dios diaspora, diaspora across Europe. That's a tick for me. Um, they're going to have those neighbouring voting. You know, people are going to be picking up their phones to vote for that. Um, very different kind of song from Armenia this year, but I still think it's going to grab those votes. Um, also, the stage present, the charisma is great and so catchy. With la 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 It's catchy. So catchy. Then we move to the second half with Latvia. And honestly, as much as Dons is great, he's an icon, he's an amazing singer, he's not going to qualify. If it's anything like it was in Supernova, he was a bit too static, in my opinion. He was great, but he was very static. It didn't feel like it progressed through the song. It just, he was standing there singing really well. And he needs to do a little bit more to qualify. And I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, then we move over to San Marino with 11-11 and Megara. <laughs> My, microstate? Um, or Spain performing in this semi-final? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I don't think San Marino are going to qualify. I don't think so. <laughs> it pains me to say I'm just not quite, you know, there. Um, the song is good and they they deliver excellently. I just don't know if this is the year the summer is going to qualify, unfortunately. And I can't really explain it. I just, it just feels, yeah, like a wee bit of non-qualifier, unfortunately. Then we move over to Georgia. Fire Fighter, one of my favourite songs, one of the strongest people at the pre-parties is Arnutza qualifying she's bringing Georgia to the final and I will riot if she does not um 
I arrived last year after Eru didn't make it. Um, you know, days in a row I'm thinking I know. English 100, <laughs> song 1000. Um, I love Georgia in Eurovision recently and I think this is their shot at the final and if they don't get it, I'll be very disappointed. Um, but Nusa can do it. We've seen her at the pre-parties. If you haven't look up any performance of Firefighter been at the pre-parties, insane. She's amazing going through the final. Belgium. I would have initially put Belgium as absolutely top 10 in the final, but after some of his pre-party things, like he may have been sick, his vocals weren't amazing, um, but I think this could be staged well. Belgium does dark, dark pop really well. I'm going to give Belgium a question mark for now. For now. And I'm realising that I really haven't put many songs through yet. Um, but now we get to Estonia, where I have a feeling they could do a Moldova Trenelectual. Um, because I love now, can I remember the name of the song? Never mind. Um, say it in one go. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need to remind myself. Um, Nendes naku, Nendes naku timidest, e teame kul mirigi? Is that it? Um, we don't know anything about the drugs. Um, it's a bop, it's a banger. It could go up, like it could be insane on the stage. And I think people are going to get behind it and vote it because it's fun, because it's quirky. I think Estonia is going through, and that is a tick from me. Then we move on to Israel. So they're in this running order. I'm going to mention them as we go, um, and that's all. Um, so we come to Israel. Amazing singer. Eden is great at singing, like vocally outstanding. The song is good. It's not one of my favourites this year. Um, it's very X Factor ballad -y. Um I mean, the thing is, massive diaspora voting. And so I can see it getting votes. I can see it getting votes politically as well. And I can see it not getting votes politically to a point where who knows what the outcome is going to be. But I set the qualification. Um, it, there's a tick for me. I sense the qualification coming because the song is strong. Um, and whatever way, you know, things happen. Things happen. And we deal with it when we get there. Um... You know, Norway, Gotta, Ulvaham, I love this song. It's so powerful in Norway, and it's going to be powerful. It's going to shock and woe people. I think sometimes we get in this bubble where we've seen it and heard it so many times that it can lose its shock value, its surprise value. This is going to shock and surprise people when they see it on the stage. And they're going to vote for it, because Ulvaham is great. Um, and I'm giving Norway a big tick. Uh, and then we get to the Netherlands. I mean... There's no doubt about this, it's a tick from me, it's a tick from Europe. Um, welcome in Europa, Junge. <laughs> what a banger. Like, a, a banger of a song, but with such a deep message from a really fun and quirky guy. It could win the semi. It could come second in the semi. It's not going to flop. <laughs> um, we've seen him at the pre-parties. Um, he may not be the best singer, um, but that's not the point of the song. He's not really singing. He's kind of more rapping, um, you know, going Dutch hardcore. And that's the purpose of it. And we love it. Um, I can see Netherlands qualifying for sure. So time to count up my ticks. Um, so we have Greece, Switzerland, Armenia, Georgia, Estonia, Israel, Norway, and the Netherlands. Again, we have eight, um, which means I can put two more people through. And I think just going off, you know, what I think, I think Austria and Belgium are the two that I'm going to put through um, rather than Czechia or Malta. That... So, in total, Greece, Switzerland, Austria, Armenia, Georgia, Belgium, Estonia, Israel, Norway, and the Netherlands. Norway and the Netherlands. Those are my 10. What are your 10? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Um, are there other songs you think that are absolutely going through that I've said won't? Or do you think I am... My taste is completely off. Well, my predictions are so wrong for some of the countries that I've put through or haven't put through. Let me know in the comments down below. Your opinion is valid and appreciated. Um, and so, thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Do you all like great stuff? And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.